in state capital news now, curbing gun violence in the state of Illinois. Today, we saw more efforts to ban assault style weapons as the State House Judiciary Committee held its second hearing on the topic of House Bill 5855. The bill, spearheaded by State Representative Bond Morgan, would ban the manufacturing, delivery, selling, and purchasing of assault style weapons, including AR 15 rifles. It would also raise the age to get a FOID card. To 21 years old, and it would also utilize state police to help crack down on illegal firearms and drug trafficking. Our Durante Matthews joins us live in studio to show us what gun violence survivors and activists had to say about that bill today. Durante. Well, Shelby, this bill is also known as the Protect Illinois Communities Act, but those against the bill say they don't believe it provides much protection. Now, while there were no formal changes to the bill today, we heard from advocacy groups giving crime stats related to gun violence, as well as testimonies from those directly affected. But some critics say this bill could do more harm than good. That's my first emotion. was so sad. People dead in the floor. Abraham Avalos of Waukegan fought back tears Thursday, describing memories from the Highland Park 4th of July mass shooting. Avalos, who's a member of multiple pro gun groups, says he knew then that something had to be done about gun violence. But he doesn't support House Bill 5855 and says it might not have even made a difference in the Highland Park shooting. Maybe he would have chosen a different weapon. But the evil is still there in his mind and his heart. The Protect Illinois Communities Act proposes the ban of assault weapons in the state, along with other reforms for gun laws. During Thursday's second hearing on the proposed bill, the Illinois House Judicial Criminal Committee listened to several more testimonies, not many sharing Avalos' same feelings, saying the bill may be unconstitutional. It doesn't protect citizens in a immediate or possibly long term. But a majority of the speakers, like advocacy groups, researchers, outreach workers, parents, and survivors like Maria Pi who lost her son to gun violence, all embraced this action towards potential change. The assault weapons ban, we talk about also large capacity magazines because that could have saved lives in Highland Park. But they say although this is a step in the right direction, it's not a solution to the problem. Resources are needed. I'm all for the ban of assault weapons. More than anything, uh, we need resources in place to prevent these acts, these violent acts. And lawmakers say everyone on all sides can agree that Illinois does have a gun violence issue. The trick is finding a way to collectively combat it. Now, they say this was only the second hearing, and there will be more to come on this topic. 